Hello and welcome to this video on unboxing a Checkpoint 1800 series gateway for the very first time. This is part of our Quantum Spark lineup, so it is an SMB gateway, but it's packed with lots of features, lots of hardware, lots of ports, as you'll get to see in this video. And I'll also walk you through creating the configuration for the very first time. So walking through the first time wizard configuration as well. So let's get started and let's get straight into it. Let's see what we have inside here. We've got our starter pack with the uh, guide in there, our accessories box and the appliance itself nicely packed. With our accessories, we've got two power cables there. You've got our Cat6 e Ethernet cables, our brackets, our screws, some cable ties, some feet and the console cable as well, which is a USB Type-C. So the appliance has been unboxed and we can start putting on the feet on the bottom. There we go. And we can see we pack a number of ports on the gateways there from uh, LAN switch ports to 10 gig ports to copper and fiber WAN port to an external management port there as well. We can see we've got the USB-C console port in there, SD card slot, two 2.5 gig ports there as well. So lots of ports. Dual power supplies, both of them need to be plugged in and we can plug our management cable in there and get started and power the appliance on, ready to go. So let that start up and we'll go through the first time wizard configuration. So now that we've powered it up, we can connect directly to the appliance by browsing to 192.168.1.1 colon 4434 on HTTPS. And we can see here the gateway is just loading up and we've now got the first time wizard configuration. We can either get it to fetch from zero touch, but here we'll look at the manual way of configuring it. Admin name, we need to give it a nice password in there. And we tick the box to send data back to checkpoint, which will help us improve the product. We'll then click next and we'll get the ability to add the date and time settings. We can set it manually. We can add an NTP server. We can change the appliance name here and put in a domain name, which is not mandatory, but give it a useful appliance name so you know uh, where this appliance is located and then click next. We're gonna manage this locally. We can manage it centrally using a checkpoint management server. We'll click local management and click next. Now we need to configure the internet connection, so I'm going to use a DHCP connection back into my network. Select DHCP and click connect so we can start pulling down the IP settings from whatever it's connected into. We've got an IP address we can see there and we can click next to go on to the next page. We can see our IP address there, 192.168.255.82. We can now configure our LAN settings. So yes, we've enabled the switch on the LAN ports. We can change that IP addressing to match our network corporate IP addressing and also allocate the range and the exclusion in there as well. We can absolutely select where we want to allow admin access, LAN, VPN, internet, specify the IP addresses that we want to be able to actually connect to this gateway in order to actually manage it. Depending on, on your corporate policy, you can tailor that to your needs. We then allow it to connect to the internet. It's going to look for its user center and pull down the license from the user center account. We've now got the ability to activate the blades. We're going to enable everything here. We can tick everything that will enable the blades in a recommended mode. So you can then go in and configure it as per your needs. The appliance, first time wizard has completed. There's a summary of what we've done on the appliance and now we'll go away and start applying and enabling those blades to get it up and running. Straight away, we get into the, the home page. If you look on the left hand side, we've got various navigation menus and we've got the overview page here currently right now so we can see some key information while the data is still being loaded. If we jump to device on the left hand side and go on the internet, we can see our WAN configuration. 
we can then jump into local network to look at our switching configuration you know currently we only have uh, one connection into our appliance so everything is disconnected but here you can see what you have on the LAN side from a routing perspective it's inherited the default routes and whatever is directly connected as you'd expect if we jump to access policy here you'll be able to see the blades that we've enabled such as uh, the firewall policy and application and URL filtering if we just jump into the policy and just quickly look at some of the auto generated rules based on the recommended policy coming back to the home page and the system page we can see here we've got the appliance name the MAC address system uptime what version we're running we can see our internet connection is connected the IP address and we can see some network activity right at the bottom there as the data starts flowing through our security gateway. That brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you've got to see some exciting things about the 1800 series and you'll get to see more in the upcoming videos as well. Please share this video with your colleagues, with your customers and also leave your feedback in the comment section as well. Thank you.